Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. Now, when we talk about dating, man, it becomes something else because, you know, dating, let me give you an example of dating. Dating would be like flowers for no reason. How many people have ever given flowers for no reason? They've ever received flowers for no reason? That only happens during dating, right? That's the only time. But it's like, it's, oh man, is it your birthday? No. Is is it anniversary? No. No, it was a Tuesday. He gave me flowers for a Tuesday. And that's awesome, man. I love that. That's the best foot forward. That's what everybody's trying, right, when they're dating. Best foot forward. And it's like that holding hands and the romance, skipping through the lilies together. Anybody? Nobody? Nobody over here. How about over here? Online, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's that idea of like trying to have that romantic feels. And here's the deal that I want to encourage you with dating. Man, dating is, is, is good because you might have got to know somebody and all that kind of stuff. The thing is, you get a, it's the intention by which you date, so is your dating about hooking up with people or is it about really finding out about this person if really they're supposed to be paired together with you for life? And so for me, lasting relationships are built on friendships, not on hookups. I'll say it again. Lasting relationships are built on friendships, not on hookups. And so where you're trying to look for somebody, it's it has to be with this the intentionality of what you're doing. So even if that's on a dating site or that's in person or whatever, that doesn't matter. But what are you doing with your intentionality? It says this in Proverbs 3, Let not steadfast love and faithfulness forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. See, because the intentionality of, of, of dating someone when you're serious is you're headed towards marriage. And I don't mean like on your first date, you're like, hey, do you want to get married? Like, that's craziness. Like, don't be doing that. And, and you know, like I went to a Christian college and man, people at Christian college are crazy because they'd be like, you go on one date, be like, are you guys getting engaged? What's the deal with that? It's like, no, that, that's, what is that? That's not right. But what I'm talking about is when you start having to be in a relationship and you're actually dating each other, it should be with the intentionality of like, hey, this is going somewhere. And if, if, guess what, if you realize about the two of you that one of you is living for God and one is not and you guys are going different places, then guess what? Save yourself both time, heartache, headache, all that stuff and be done with that so that you could be set apart and unto God and ready for the thing he really wants you to do. Now, here's the deal. Like, that's the alignment that we're talking about in our lives. And you have to have your heart after God to understand that. You know what I'm saying? Because if your real intention is just to get a husband or just to get a wife, guess what? You can find one. They out there. But guess what? If you get one and it wasn't the one that was supposed to be aligned with where you're going, heartbreak hotel. And man, I don't want you guys to feel that way. I don't want to experience that. We have to be those who live after Christ. So here's my suggestion to you. Marry your best friend. Amen. 